Okay, here's uh, a neck I'm going to be making. It's a piece of maple. I bought it hardware. Anyway, uh, first I chose, with, look down there, and it's pretty straight anyway, but it had a little bow in it, so I want to make that one when it bows up to the top, so it'll compensate for when the strings pull it. So, first of all, I... Um, I measured down four inches from the end here and drew a line and then sliced it with my bandsaw so that ends me gives me this little wedge and so what I'll do is I'll glue this little wedge right here you know how slick that is uh, bandsaw does make a little little rough cut mainly because my blade's not real sharp but anyway it's easy to sand that off and uh, and it's not a problem so I used uh, I use super glue for uh, for gluing this wood together that way I don't have to wait so long so that's my next step is to to glue this on here okay I got it clamped in here and waiting for um, the, th the glue to set up. Okay, we got the uh, pieces glued together here. It looks pretty good. Uh, of course, it's just rough yet. And if I was making a four string, I would add a piece here. Maybe a little wider than that, but you can add a piece there, a different color to make it look good. Just glue it on and uh, you're good to go. Of course, you want to make sure these are flush on the sides just a hair off I feel feel that it's just just a hair off as far as that goes but it'll sand off pretty good so I got my trim router uh, a Harbor Freight one that's worked fine for me and also uh, a three-quarter inch roundover bit here and I've clamped my piece to this wood and I've marked where I want to stop. Well, there'll be about this much, so I can put another piece on here, and then the rest will be in the box. That's why I didn't bother putting anything to protect the wood there. It'll be inside the, the body. So next I'll take the trim router and just just run it up along here, and, and it'll round over. I'll make a video and show you what it looks like afterwards. I take it outside because it throws crap all over and of course wear safety glasses. Uh, but anyway, uh, this saves a lot of time as far as trying to sand this stuff down. And uh, it'll take a nice hunk off and if I want to if I want to change it a little bit I can use my sander to do that. Okay, as you can see I ran the trim router around here and it rounded that over real nice and uh, so next I'll do some sanding and just uh, what I find is using uh, one of these guys I I've got the things from um, uh, Harbor Freight that uh, I go through like crazy um, oscillating power tool they call it but I um, I bought one of these drill motors here and it is so slick that I can take this off I can slide this on or there's this little saw circular saw that also slides on there Oh, the lithium batteries are wonderful. Anyway, uh, save a lot of time using the, using that tool there. So I'm going to do some sanding, and then uh, uh, we'll get back and show you where we're at. Well, here we go with uh, this neck. It's uh, I got it sanded. It's fairly smooth. Still need to... Uh, sand it a little smoother you know before I put any finish on it but um, got her sanded with uh, the 120 grit 
and added uh, this piece here. I haven't glued it on yet because I don't know what size box I'm going to put it in. So I can take these screws out and cut this end up here to whatever I want it to fit. So anyway, um, looks like a pretty good one. So um, I'll add to this video as I decide what box. I think I'm going to work on an acrylic, but we'll see.